Hello everyone, it's Mario. Welcome to my channel if you're here for the first time and welcome back to the rest of you. So today we are doing a review of the new limited edition doll set released for Disney Store. This is Jasmine and Aladdin from the live action movie and I love live action dolls. So when I knew the set was coming, I started saving for it because it is expensive. It's $750. That is a lot of money. Um, it's available on shopdisney.com. They don't really sell it at your local stores. You can pretty much only get it online. Now, of course, as I said, it's an expensive set and I wanted to take it out of the box, but I'm going to do the review with them in box because I'm not sure about that decision yet. But I really wanted to get this review out there for you guys because I know that um, I haven't really seen one online yet and people are dying to know if it's worth it or not. Obviously, like I said, it's a lot of money and only you can decide if you think it's worth it, if you can save up for it. I cannot afford this on a regular day. You know, I saved for it because, I, as I said, I love live action dolls and this is my first um platinum set that i get online directly from the disney store i have the cinderella wedding one but i buy that on ebay years later same thing with the uh, bell and the prince i got them out of the box later on ebay so this is really my first set that i purchased and i don't regret it one bit but <laughs> that's why i'm trying to get this video out for you so you can make your decision whether you like it or not let me know in the comments and yeah let's just get started with this video First up, let's take a look at the huge box, which takes up pretty much my entire little studio here that I've set up. <laughs> um, as you can see on the top, it has the name of the movie, Aladdin, with really pretty symbols next to it. And of course, you can take a peek at Jasmine and Aladdin from the top. And this is beautiful. This box, to me, um, the front part of it reminds me of the water fountain in the movie. Um, I don't know if that's what they were going for. It does have a very Moroccan style. There's a lot of influences in this movie. As you can see, it's blue with the little peacocks and it's just a beautiful doll set. I, I mean, I love the box. I love the presentation. It says Jasmine and Aladdin limited edition, one of 750. And again, it's not a big um, number of dolls being made. So it makes them a little bit more limited, which you know, that kind of goes into the pricing as well. Now, in the back of the box, we have the same style going around, which is beautiful. We have the peacock uh, motif. I think it's how people say it. <laughs> it says Jasmine and Aladdin collector doll set. And you can go ahead and pause if you'd like to read that. It's in English and in French. And yeah, I, I mean, I don't know because they don't really call these dolls platinum set anymore, but we know they are. So just limited edition collector set, I guess. Certificate of authenticity and display stands included. And for some reason, the price is not on here, just like it wasn't for the limited edition doll. Um, then, you know, the Jasmine by herself. And this is how you open it. I love this window display. I think it's so gorgeous. Um, it just adds so much to it because you could display it either open or closed, or you could just take off the whole thing um, if you wanted to. Now, the only thing about this is that, of course, when you have a boy doll in there, a, a male doll, right? They're so tall that you can barely see their head. That's my only complaint with this kind of sets. But I also don't want them to make them bigger to fit the boys because then it'll be a really huge box. Here you can see my certificate of authenticity and I actually have a pretty low number. That's pretty cool. All right, so let's just, I'm gonna give you um, a closer look at the way that they're displayed here so you can see them together, which I think is beautiful. Now, if you've seen the movie, spoilers, okay? Now you can leave the video and come back later. This is a wedding set which I just love. They look gorgeous. Now we're going to take a closer look at Jasmine and let's start with her face. I think she's so gorgeous. Obviously it's the same face sculpt or head sculpt than the Jasmine and her Tio outfit. Uh, but for some reason, this one looks even better and I love the other one, but this one, because of the hair being down, she looks even better if that's even possible because in my opinion, this is the best face sculpt for a limited edition live action doll so far she's gorgeous she has her red lips uh, she has a little bit of blush you could even see the red in her eyes uh, the rooted lashes the eyebrows i just think that she's gorgeous i mean i love this face they did such a good job with her it's awesome <laughs> now when it comes to her accessories they're actually gold material i mean they're not gold they're painted gold but they're actual metal which gives it a really realistic look and it makes it look even fancier. I just love it. It's so pretty. There you can see it from the top. She has her veil, which I, I don't think they call it veil. I think they call it something else. It's like um, a headscarf. They called it a headscarf in the description. 
and there you can see that it's attached with um it's like sewn in <laughs> there you can see her earrings are, her earrings are really nice they're painted with the teal color and they're golden i just love love when they use um, actual materials for the jewelry i love that so much it's my favorite thing <laughs> here you can see the veil it's kind of like a again a headscarf and look at the design on the bottom it's just so pretty it's a little bit see-through it's a really really nice uh, fabric and it does have little rhinestones on it that's why i really want to take this doll set out of the box because there's so much going on that you don't get to see um, even though it's displayed very beautifully here you know there's so much more you could see when you take it out now her hair of course it's gorgeous it's curled and it is very nicely packaged in the box so you don't really you know see much of it unfortunately and here hers and here is her beautiful bracelet sorry and this is awesome again it's gold uh, painted or gold plated with the uh, the gemstones on it and as we know if you've seen the movie again spoilers this is her mother's bracelet so it is very important to the story and i love it so much that disney captured it so perfectly now we're moving on to her outfit and let's first start with the bodice and this is gorgeous i mean there's so much detail going on here and may i remind you this outfit was on screen for maybe like a minute or two minutes at the end and it was always from afar we never even saw it up close for much so it's just wow uh, this is really the first time we actually get to see it close up and they from what i can tell it's pretty close to the um to the one in the film as you can see this all these chains are all connected they're sewn into the outfit so that they don't you know break and it's beautiful it's all um golden with gems she has a bunch of rhinestones right there in the um in the pattern that you can see there's like a little flower design i know it's not really a flower it's something probably from arabia or indian it's it's inspired by you know agrabah so it's probably not a flower now it does have this embroidery gold trim with this little golden i'm just gonna say little golden chains or little balls <laughs> whatever you want to call them but they're definitely gold or you know made to look like they're gold and it's beautiful i i love this dress i think it's so gorgeous i wish we had more scenes with it because it's beautiful you see all the little um flower designs again excuse me i'm just gonna call them flowers <laughs> and with rhinestones all around it again i'm dying to take this doll set out of the box and i think i might stay tuned for that for another video if i do i would do another video there you see that gold trim is just beautiful and again that's all embroidery work and there's two layers there's a clear organza ish layer and then there's the other layer which is more like a beige color with the pink beneath it the hot pink which i love by the way i'm not sure if the actual outfit is pink in the movie but i assume it is because the doll has a pink so you know it probably is now the actual back part the train of the outfit is green and it is in the movie too i noticed it i looked at the movie when i watched i watched it three times <laughs> and i make sure the last time i saw it that it was green in the back because i knew the doll had it green you don't see it much because of the layer on top but you can see the difference here see you can see that it's a little bit more green while the other one is more on the beige side now look at this beautiful design now that part the gold part there again going all around the dress <laughs> Thank you guys if you have been watching this video for this long i talk so much but i want to make sure that i don't miss things and then people ask me oh you didn't say this or that so i wanted just to make sure now remember that this is an overskirt and she has pants beneath it which is very jasmine from the cartoon and the movie the live action movie her shoes are beautiful they are of course sculpted in plastic and they are painted very nicely and very accurate to the movie or we should assume so because it's not like we really gotta look at it in this outfit it's just a beautiful dress beautiful beautiful i love it so much and now we are moving on to the man of the hour mr aladdin himself and now one thing i want to mention really quickly is that as you can see i'm able to turn his head all the way around because for some reason it came um detached not the head but came detached from the plastic there you can see his hat which is attached to his head somehow and it does have paper in there to keep it fluffy now, as you can see back there, it was that was attached to his hat, keeping the head without without it being able to move. 
somehow it came detached again it's not a big deal for me i can show you the hat better i guess <laughs> and i might end up taking it out of, out of the box as i said so but there he is now aladdin unfortunately in my opinion he doesn't look much like mina masood who is a very attractive handsome aladdin and this is not the case with the doll unfortunately i just have to say that you know on the bright side the eyebrows are on point the smile should have been there because he has such a beautiful smile right they should have captured that but he does look happy and i have to say depending on the angle you see when i turn it right there it actually looks like him so you just have to display him in a way that looks like him so again he's probably you know i'll give him an a six out of ten while jasmine is a fool like 11. <laughs> but here we have he has a beautiful outfit which I cannot even describe, so I'm gonna read it to you. Aladdin's outfit features a metallic foil print vest, a tunic, pants, and a fess with golden embroidery, fil filigree, trims, buttons, and belt decoration. <laughs> I have no idea half the stuff I just read, but there you can see <laughs> that it's very detailed. You can see this beautiful, beautiful, um, kind of like a orange vest. It's one of those words that I said. You figure it out and let me know <laughs> but it's just beautiful he has like basically two layers it's like a long coat with a shirt under it which that's the ton tunic and then i guess this is the vest i don't know but it's beautiful it's gold and orange it's just all the colors are gorgeous there's this um seems like flowers embroidery on the trims right there and it's beautiful there's so much detail i had no idea that all of that was actual embroidery because i hadn't seen it there we can see a little bit of green on the shoulder pads or whatever you want to call them. And it's just beautiful, beautiful colors. Now, of course, the gold part right there that you see in the middle, all that design is all printed, printed on there. It's not embroidery work. And there he has a beautiful belt, which I would love to know what the actual design going in into this is. But as you can see right there, that is extremely detailed. It's metal painted gold and it looks a little bit like rusted and old and it's just beautiful. I love it so much that they added the belt right there in the middle. And of course, we see that in the movie as well, very briefly. Now the actual outfit, um, not the outfit, but the coat goes all the way to the bottom as you can see right there. And it has three little pieces. I'll show you what they look like in the stock photo in a second. So you can see what the back part of the outfits look like since I have them in box. There we see the inside of it is green and it's attached back there. It's more teal, but a darker teal than Jasmine's um, classic color. There we can see the inside of the orange part, which is kind of like a red. Oh my goodness, it's so gorgeous. Like this wedding outfits are iconic and that is all, all part of the culture. You know, as you know, Agrabah is inspired by India and Arabia. So they've captured all of that perfectly. There we can see his pants. Oh my goodness, I don't think I've talked this much in a long time. Very pretty, it just has a really nice gold trim. Now, when it comes to his shoes, I was actually really impressed because I hadn't seen them in the photos, but in person, they look almost like they're porcelain, right? Obviously they're plastic, they're painted gold. They look like a porcelain teacup or something. They're super, super pretty, very, very well made. And there you can see them. And then now, um, I just wanna give you a quick look of what they look like from the back. Um, the outfits just look gorgeous. And these are the stock photos from the Shop Disney website. Alrighty, my friends, well, that is all for today. Thank you so much for making it this far with me. It's a really long video, in my opinion, and I've talked for so long. Uh, but if you still want a little bit more of Aladdin, you can check out my review of the limited edition Jasmine and her teal outfit, and you can check out the limited edition lamp, um, Genie's lamp review. And I'll attach the links below and on top of this video. Again, thank you so much for watching this, <laughs> this super long video. And yeah, I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Again, this set is available on shopdisney.com. Go get it and on the UK as well. Have a great day or night. See you next time. Bye-bye.